Now let's have a look at the next function we're looking at minimum. All right. So what minimum does is it just grabs your set of data and it figures out what the lowest value is. Now minimum doesn't just apply to numbers, it also applies to letters and you can see here my example I've got, you know, alpha is less than Zelda. I don't know if any of you have seen the show Alf. Um, it's probably a little bit before your time. You've got dates, it also works on dates. Just remember that it's the uh, lowest date. So sometimes when you say the most recent, you're talking about the highest date. The soonest date could also be the lowest date because you're talking about something that happens after now, right? So dates get a little bit fuzzy at times. Just pay attention to exactly what it is and realize we're talking about when you're doing a less than, we're talking about a date that's lower than something else. So look at where your comparison point is. Um, so earlier dates are lower. Um, numbers are a little bit more obvious. You know, one is lower than... 9,999, 10,000, 1 million, infinity, whatever you choose, okay? Um, now max is the other way around, that's all it is. Rather than using a less than symbol in each of these examples, I would have used a greater than symbol. Okay, so let's look at what is the earliest registration date on file. Okay, the earliest registration date on file will be the minimum date we have on file. So let's do select min act registration date from account. Now I type that in manually, but um, if you were to try to use that, then we're good there, right? Uh, you just got to make sure that you use your drop downs. If, if you typed it in and you're getting a red line because, you know, maybe you got your A and your T backwards, you weren't really paying attention, you know, you want to use IntelliSense to make sure you spelled it right. A C C R, use your drop down, click on it, and let SQL do the work for you. Okay, so our earliest registration date on file, that's this guy right here. Um, Okay, so uh, next thing we want to look at is uh, what is the latest registration date on file. So, I mean, it's the same thing, right? So we want to have a look at this, which we're going to do max registration date. Now, one thing we forgot in that last query, we want to add in as, so we're going to say lowest date maybe. And so here we're going to end up needing as highest date, all right? but. When we do the highest here, we've got this funny looking date. Now a date stamp, I don't know if you've really looked at it closely enough here, but it's just year, dash month, dash day, space hour, colon minute, colon second, and then this here is a fraction of a second. So it goes down, you know, all the way down to milliseconds, and then it's actually down to an accuracy of the highest of 100 nanoseconds um, in a date time two field, which is what we're using here correctly.